Standard 5 stars. We all love them. Okay, maybe not Chi Chi. They're the consolation prize when you lose the 50-50. The NTR of Genshin Gacha, if you will. But in the right hands, these characters are not all that bad. Not my hands though. So before Tignari is added to the standard banner, I thought, why not try clearing the Spiral Abyss with the OG standard 5 star characters? So here's Pain and Suffering. Oh, but before that, take a look at this cool trick I found. Oh, wait, what? Hey, yo? The secret C7 coaching. Okay, I guess I'll show you guys what my standard 5 stars look like first. All of them are decently built, except for my Chi Chi. I don't really have anything on her, but it's fine because she's a healer. So are you only using standard weapons? I mean, like standard 5 star weapons? I, I only have one standard 5 star weapon and it's on Bennett. Maybe I could use it, but I don't think... I'm gonna be needing it, maybe? Let's start with Mona here. Right now she has a Thrilling Tales, just because I use her as a support for my Ayaka. And I use a 4-piece Noblesse on her. C0, Talents, this is my Burst, which is probably the only skill you need to level up for Mona. Jean, yeah, level 80, 2k attack. And I use the Aminoma on her. Uh, I have a 2-piece Glad, 2-piece Viridescent. It's like the easiest way to build a character. Just go two piece, two piece. Viridescent for Jean. I mean, I guess, but I don't really use her as a uh, Viridescent Shredder. I use uh, Venti for that and Sucrose. But I think the current build is fine. Able to clear the Abyss. We'll have to see. Mr. D. Luke himself, Tuna Sword. I don't farm the Pyro Domain, so it's just another two piece, two piece situation here. 60% crit rate, it's not that bad. 150% crit damage, it's not bad. It, it's fine. Chi Chi, I have nothing on her. She has a dull blade. I actually leveled this up. I'll keep dull blade on her. She's fine. I don't even have her talents leveled up, so. Kuching. I was a Kuching main, which is why I have her talent levels pretty high. Yeah, no, this is definitely crowned. Okay, I have a C3 Kuching. Weapon, I have the black sword from the battle pass, which I got two years ago. But yeah, I guess I'll just give her the official artifacts. 50%. Crutching actually has like a talent which increases her crit rate. Yeah, it's after using her burst. So if I have 50%, then it's going to be 65% after using my burst. I think we're good to go. So one team has to have like only two characters and one team has to have three. Crutching is definitely my strongest five star. So I guess she doesn't need too much help. Maybe I'll bring Jean along. If I have trouble here, I could just switch my Jean artifacts, switch them with uh, Venti's four piece viridescent. Yeah, Mona and Diluc probably should go together and then we'll just put GG on there. Plus this is floor nine, so it should be doable. I have not used Kuching in a while. Um, okay. Actually missed my E there. So far so good. I know I could just spam my ult because Kuching's burst cost is only 40 energy. That was easy enough. Okay, I I'm just realizing now that this is basically just two characters on each team because my Chi Chi's my Chi Chi's basically dead. She's just there for heals, I guess. If ever I re like if I struggle, I'm probably gonna switch up their artifacts. Or I could use my five star weapons. Moral support Chi Chi. Yes, actually. She's just there for the moral support. Oh wow, I wait, I actually got an achievement from that. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be kinda hard because we don't have a shield breaker here. Let's see if Jean's ult can damage him. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Plunging? Okay, that kinda worked. This one's gonna be hard because... Okay, that didn't go through. I don't want to use my burst here because I want to save it for the next wave of enemies. I hate these bubbles. I feel like I'm gonna struggle here because it's pyro slimes. Mona's gonna have to deal the damage here. I guess I could use my normal attacks instead. I need Chi Chi here. Okay, nice. I wanna take him out as quickly as I can. No! Oh. Oops. Okay. Can I stun him? Okay, that kinda works. D looks actually dying though. No, Chi Chi, please! Okay, I'm feeling like a restart here. Here comes the cancer part. I want to get both of them, or at least kill this guy. 
Freeze. Boom. Wait, does Chi Chi need to auto attack so she could heal? Or she needs to have her E up and then normal attack? Is that how she heals? This run is definitely faster. Okay. Okay, these guys are definitely new. Thirty-seven K. These guys actually actually hurt. No. Chi Chi. I swear, Chi Chi's gonna be the MVP. MVP right here. Okay. Oops. Okay, here come the electro slimes. I could just use physical touching here. Good thing Deluxe Pyro application doesn't go away once you switch. Oh, that was kind of chunky damage right there. I want to kill at least one first, so I would have an easier time. Where is he? Okay, one down. Wait, 24 seconds. 20 seconds. This should be doable though. Boom, okay. Still three stars. Maybe I should go for these archer guys first. Because I have to kill these two big boys at the same time. I want to get them as low as possible and then use my ult. Like so. Nice. That was picture perfect. That electro aura is actually, actually cancer. Okay, okay. I think this is where the struggle begins. I guess my strategy is to just take out the abyss mage first. Because he has that annoying... Nice. The annoying aura. Mona. Diluc. No crit there, but please don't gain back your shield. I could actually freeze him. Nice. Okay. Wait. Okay, nice. I definitely have to kill the Hydro guy first because he heals. No. I think it's still doable. Oh. No! I was about to use my burst. Okay. Mirror Maiden again. Go my level 50 Chi Chi. No. Yep. Restart. I think if I die again, I'm gonna have to switch the artifacts. Just as annoying. The oh! Hold up, wait. Chi Chi. Yeah, this is this is hard. <laughs> it's an easy fix, because I only have to swap with Venti. I'll use the five star weapon. Why not? Maybe I'll use the mist splitter on Kerching as well. Sorry, Ayaka. Then I have to change her circlet to a crit damage one. Wait, no. A crit rate one. Level up Chi Chi's second talent. Give her some more HP by leveling her up. Yeah, I should definitely give her a better weapon. Saxhard works on Chi Chi, right? Steal that for now. Maybe I'll just give her HP artifacts. It should make her like survive or tank some hits a little bit better. 18k HP from 10k. Okay. No! Wow. Actually died before the burst animation there. I don't think this is 3 starable anyways. Because there's only 8 minutes left. So that would mean 1 minute for this second half. So I, I don't think it's possible. Get me going. <laughs> okay, nice. Don't want okay. To As a level 60 Chi Chi. Wow. God damn it. God. Okay. Okay, come on. Dude, so fucking close. Those electro balls really hurt. Come on, please die. This should kill it. There we fucking go. There we go. Just a few more hits. Let's fucking go. Okay, I have to kill this guy pretty quickly because I don't have a hydro character to break the shield. Can I? Okay, nice. 18k on that. There we go. Written in the 
No. Two seconds. Oh! That, that actually could have been one star. Damn. Oh wait, I can't even actually go to floor 12 because I only have five stars here. Actually kind of forgot that that was a thing. You need six stars to proceed. What the hell? I want to save my gene ult for when I actually need it. <gasps> what? Oh my god, bro. Come on. No fucking way. Can I just go straight for it? Yeah, this is over. <sighs> now we can go to floor 12. E skill first. Okay, level 6. I guess I could level it up once. I could use my gene artifacts, which I put on Venti. I just need to steal the Venti artifacts, which were originally genes. This looks pretty good. I feel like I can do floor 12 now. Wait, these guys are actually tanky as fuck. Okay, this guy's dead. Wait, I, I've actually spent 6 minutes on here already. Okay, what's the third enemy gonna be? I mean, at least I could somehow reach it. What the? Okay, I don't think I'm even going to be able to clear the first half in time. What? I quit, man. <laughs> I quit, man. <laughs> no more abyss. So let's just collect the rewards we got. And it's not that bad, okay? We got 9, 8, and 6. Okay, so I did try again, but this time I used Kerching because I could aim with her E skill. And these dino robots have these specific weak spots, which I could hit with her E. Also, I switched my Deluxe weapon to the Unforged and maxed him out to level 90. So he was dealing significantly more damage than before, but here's how it went. Oh, wait, what? Hey, yo? That was like four ticks of damage there. The secret C7 Kerching. Hold on. Mm. The dodge? There we go. Boom. Okay. Two minutes for this wave. Is it possible? Dude. If I clear this, I'm done. If I clear this, I'm done. Come on, dude. Come on. Fuck. Yo. What the fuck? I can see now, clearing floor 12 with this team is actually impossible. The goal now is to just clear floor 12. Chamber 1. Dude, I hate that. I hate the auto-targeting system here. I was literally looking at the Pyro Gunslinger with Mona. I press E, and then the E goes behind me. Like, what is that? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, got him again. So my strategy here was to just use Chi Chi E and then Mona E for the freeze and then just go ham with Diluc and hopefully deal some vaporize and melt. Okay, this is pretty much done. Okay, there we go. And it only took like a hundred tries. If it took me like a million tries just to finish that chamber, then I don't think I'm going to be able to clear it. the next parts of that. God damn it, I'm actually so tired right now. <laughs> At least the goal was accomplished.